Hope you're always healthy and well. Today, I want to share a very important vital organ in our body. Are you ready, guys? The human heart is an organ composed of muscles and it has no bones. It pumps blood throughout the body via the circulatory system, supplying oxygen and nutrients to the tissues down to all veins and up to the tiny one. You know, it also eliminates carbon dioxide and other waste. The human heart has four passages. Number one is the right atrium receives blood from the veins and pumps it to the right ventricle. Number two is the right ventricle receives blood from the right atrium and pumps it to the lungs where it is loaded with oxygen. And number three is the left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the lungs and pumps it to the left ventricle. And number four, the left ventricle pumps oxygen-rich blood to the rest of the body, including the brain. And the left ventricle's energetic contractions create our blood pressure. Your brain's autonomic nervous system signals your heart to pump its oxygen-rich blood and your heart responds by delivering blood to your entire body including to your brain you know guys there are some facts we must learn about the human heart a normal human heart is estimated the size of a large fist the heart weighs between about 11 to 12 ounces it means 290 to 340 grams in men and 8 to 10 ounces 230 to 280 grams in women the human heart beats about 100,000 times per day and 36 million 792 thousand times per year about three billions in a lifetime oh this is amazing can you imagine our heart never gets tired it is just keeps on beating to sustain our life and nobody can imagine how tough and strong the human heart is an adult heart beats about 60 to 80 times per minute and newborn's heart beat faster than adult hearts about 70 to 100 beats per minute the heart pumps about 5.6 liters of blood throughout the body and it is amazing how a human heart contains such amount of blood to pump our heart works 24 7 no rest and no vacant time could you imagine that and do you know that the heart is placed in the center of the chest usually pointing is slightly left and having said that our heart is perhaps one of the most important organ in our body remember we have only one heart and it has no substitute and has no replacement so we should take care of it and we must love it I love the word written in the Bible above everything else guard your heart because from it flow the springs of life international standard version Proverbs 4 verse 23 and you know there are practical ways on how to take care of our heart number one is avoid fatty and high in sodium or salty foods eating foods high in saturated fats 
trans fat or cholesterol can result to high blood cholesterol. To help lower high blood pressure is caring to your heart, so you should watch your salt intake. Because excess sodium increases blood pressure because it holds excess fluid in the body and that creates an added burden on the heart. And number two is make a regular exercise for your heart. You know guys, walking 30 to 40 minutes every day is good for your heart as the doctors suggest. Take up stairs instead of riding an elevator or escalator when entering a high-rise building. Mountaineering or hiking is also good for the heart. It's a good exercise to strengthen your heart. And number three, eat foods that are good for the heart. Foods such as tuna, berries, yellow orange veggies, oats, legumes, soy, healthy nuts, and dark chocolates. And guys, if it is possible, drink about 50 ml of red wine at least three times a week. It is good for the heart according to some medical study. Number four is do inhale and exhale routine at least 50 times a day. It is a free and easy to do exercise for the heart and lungs as well. But until now, we fail to do it. So let us begin now, guys. Number five is quit smoking and avoid secondhand smoke. Any amount of smoking, even light smoking or occasional smoking, damages the heart and blood vessels. And you know guys, secondhand smoke can also damage the heart and blood vessels. It contains many of the same of harmful chemicals that people inhale when they smoke. To quit smoking is possible, but it can be hard. There are millions of people around the world have quit smoking successfully and remain non-smokers. You know, it takes a radical discipline and love for your heart and your loved ones or friends who have been exposed frequently to secondhand smoking. And number six is we must avoid stress. Even minor stress can cause heart problems such as poor blood flow to the heart muscle. This is a condition in which the heart doesn't get enough blood or oxygen. And I would like to share this beautiful verse from the Bible and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. New International Version Philippians chapter 4 verse 11 and IV version Philippians chapter 4 verse 11 you know guys if you will do this you're gonna have a healthy heart so you must take care of your heart love your heart and I just hope and pray you learn something from this blog guys and if you do, consider like, share, comments, and subscribe. God loves you so much. Till my next vlog, guys. Bye.